Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today we have this comparison in between two different models from the Adora Heritage. I would say that uh, the Adora Heritage for me is true to size in the Adora and that means it's 40.5 in comparison with Nike's for example which is 41 and Adidas which is 41 and third. And we're gonna start with the unboxing. This is how they came. The only difference, as you can see, is that paper, which in one of them is signed by the brand, and the other one is plain paper. None of them came with extra laces. Here we have some shots with the labels that came with them. And now the weight test in comparison. Here we can see the weight of these ones. They have around 700 grams or less than 25 ounces. The second pair has just a bit more than 700 grams and the same, less than 25 ounces. Here we have a short physical comparison in between them. Both of them they have great materials, the best I've seen so far. The olive color sneakers have the tongue made with leather inside and outside and the one in brown have a leather inside and outside half is leather half is nylon. Interior, both of them have leather and textile material and both of them they have very good uh, padding. The ones in olive they have insoles that are removable. The soles are very similar just a small difference in between them and I will talk about that later. Both of them have uh, high quality laces in olive they have uh, two times the thickness of the one in brown color. Here we have some unfit shots from the upper angle. About the comfort, it is almost the same in both of them, but the one in olive color has the edge in this case. It's just a bit more comfy than the other one. The olive color is 240 euros or 240 dollars and they have a 30% off and the price for the brown color is 190 euros or 205 dollars and they have minus 35% off. Both of them have amazing quality in the materials and I wish almost all the sneakers would have been done like these ones. They are very, very well made.
and now some on-fit shots from lower angle. Pros and cons, both of them they have great quality, the best materials I've seen so far in sneakers, very good comfort, the ones in brown, the insoles, they are not removable, but still, they are very very comfy, they are expensive, but if you can find them in sales, you can have them for a better price, the cons remains the price, and the one in olive color have a issue, and I will show you what exactly have. They are making this squeaking noise, which I don't like it. The other ones, they don't have that problem. It is strange for a pair of sneakers with this price to have this problem, but still, this is what, this is how they are. I'm not sure if it's only my pair that had this issue or it is something for all of them in this model. I can't say for sure. So my final thoughts on them. I would recommend them if you have the money. For the ones in olive color, I'm not sure if all of them they are like this or not, but I don't recommend them, honestly. And it's a bit sad to not be able to recommend them because they are squeaking, you know. They shouldn't do that for that price or any price, of course, because the materials, they are the best I've seen, like I said. I will end my comparison here. If you have any questions, just let me know. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time. And please don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it.